Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. 24 DRS after Nancy Pelosi calls for uprisings across US, her plan backfires on her at home. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has taken her anything Trump does must be awful show on the road for an encore performance. Attempting to downplay decades low unemployment and record highs in consumer confidence was apparently too difficult from home or Washington. As one of the most disliked politicians in America with a bevy of just flat ignorant commentary to cite for exactly why Americans feel the way they do, Nancy just cannot seem to help herself. Keeping her mouth closed in order to not prove herself a fool again and again seems to simply be too great a challenge for the California Democrat. Now she has made comments sounding as though she is attempting to incite a rebellion against the Trump administration. It seems Nancy is concerned. That concern centers around a former government policy of separating illegal migrant children from their illegal migrant mothers and fathers when they are detained for crossing the border into the United States without permission. Yet for reasons known only to Nancy, she has never voiced any of these concerns over the past 20 years or more that the policy of not detaining children in a government facility has been going on. Nancy's concern centered around the government policy of separating children from their criminal parents when they are detained illegally entering the country. Oddly, she has never voiced any of these concerns in the past 20 years. Which is how long the policy of not detaining children in a government facility has been in place. She maintains it is barbaric to separate illegal migrant children from their illegal migrant parents after they illegally enter the country to seek asylum. Nancy, calling for protests said she does not under why there aren't uprisings all over the country of people expressing outrage about the policy. First of all, this was act of the administration. They had been planning this for a while, Nancy said at her weekly press conference on Thursday. As a mother of five children, grandmother of nine, I'm sure any parents here, mother or father, knows that this is barbaric. This is not what America is. But this is the policy of the Trump administration. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. And maybe there will be, when people realize that this is a policy that they defend. Illegal migrant children were separated from their illegal migrant parents after illegally crossing the border into the U.S. in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2016, 2017, and all of a sudden out of the blue people like Nancy just decided to start caring in 2018. This issue has been going on for years long before current President Trump or even former President Obama. With virtue signaling all over the place, a truckload of overly emotional hysteria, and a complete void of historical fact and context, this was not a sudden change or a new policy. The border did not magically move. Yet for some reason, almost like a coordinated attack, folks all of a sudden decided they cared about the children of illegal migrants being with their mothers and fathers. How very nice that Washington progressives, politicos, sycophants, and talking heads have suddenly found their compassion and concern themselves about children having mothers and fathers. Never mind the government has legal limitations on detaining illegal migrant children that prevent children from being detained with their parents. Family separation arises out of policy changes that require the detention of adults either in criminal or immigration jails. There are, however, existing legal limitations on holding children in custody. Notably the 1997 Flores Settlement Agreement and legal prohibitions against holding children in adult criminal facilities. As a result, the child is taken from the parent and placed into the custody of the Department of Health and Human Services HHS, in HHS facilities. In addition, according to Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen, there has also been a 314 percent increase in adults showing up at the border with children they are not related to. These are not parents and families. These are pimps and traffickers. So what these people are actually saying with their misplaced compassion is they do not want to separate children from their abusers. They are literally asking, no, demanding, that vile, repugnant scum that see children as a commodity to be bought and sold, used at will, as chattel, be catered to and accommodated. All with plenty of media propagandists and lackeys on both the left and the right, throwing in their sea, I care too. Nonsense. Now Nancy is seeing her lemming supporters and future Democratic congressional candidates backing away from their support of her. Some are even outright attacking her in the hopes it will help their own chances of winning at the polls. Gil Cisneros, D., who is running for the soon-to-be-retired seat of Rep. Ed Royce, RCA, issued a statement on his decision to not support Pelosi if his party retakes the House and Pelosi attempts to run for Speaker yet again, while I respect Leader Pelosi's years of advocacy on behalf of California and the Democratic Party. It's time for new leadership. 
as to his decision not to support Pelosi if his party takes back the House and she runs for Speaker. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, Democrat Andrew Jans, who is running against GOP Rep. Devin Nunes, Artillery, has also stated he would not support Pelosi. Jan states, I think it's time for a new generation of leaders to go to Washington, and this is with respect to both Democrats and Republicans. I think the country, and my district in particular, is hungry for change. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.